Hi everyone, my name is Liz and I'm a kitten soldier and today I'm going to be showing you my supplies for kitten fostering and rescuing. Just keep in mind that all of these supplies took me years to accumulate so don't think that you need everything right away to begin fostering. I'll also be leaving links in the description below as to where you can get some of these supplies. So first we have these blankets and I have the microfiber fleece ones because the cats just love the texture of them. They suckle on them and knead them and I think that it reminds them of their mamas. This is my favorite carrier. I got it from Petco and it has this strap to go over your shoulder and it opens on three different sides. So this is the first side and it had the little pouch there. And it just zips open. It would be a lot easier if my cat <laughs> would leave me alone. But you know how cats are. They have to be all up in everything. And he's just going to check it out. But it opens on that side so they can go in and out there. The other side opens just the same way. You can undo this Velcro handle. And the top here actually unzips, which is my favorite feature about it with the bottle babies because I can just unzip on Velcro and open it up so I can get to the babies. So they can't get out, but I can still get in and access them. This is my Pet for Fun pet playpen that I got off Amazon for like $15, I believe. It's really nice because it has this zipper mesh top so they can't climb out of it whenever they get older. My cat Winnie down there remembers this because she was a bottle baby and she stayed in one of these play pins. And the side here actually opens up as well so whenever they get older and you want to give them some free range in the house you can open the sides and keep their litter and food and bedding in here and they can go in and out as they please. <laughs> and Winnie absolutely loves it. And this actually came with ground stakes, so you can take it outside on the warm days and stake it into the ground so the wind can't take it, and they can be out in the warm sun with you. So this top drawer, I have a lot of essential supplies like my formula, bottles, and such as that. So first is this kitten milk replacer. Whenever you get formula, make sure it says KMR. You never want to feed cow or goat's milk or homemade formula, only KMR because it has nutrients that the kittens need and it's specifically formulated for them. They need certain things that humans don't need or um, you know they have their own dietary needs. So make sure it's KMR and they're also not going to be allergic to this like they will cow's milk. I have some bottles here. I didn't realize how many bottles I had until I organized them like this. And here we have a feeding tube. This is an advanced skill that you can be taught uh, maybe by a peer or by a veterinarian, but I got this tube off of Amazon. And this Dr. Brown's bag is really cool. It's a sterile bag, so you can put tubes and bottles in there, microwave it up to 20 times, and it will sterilize everything in the bag. And it comes with 20 uses, which is just awesome. All right, so these are some old spaghetti sauce containers that I just repurposed and I can mix formula in them. I have a blender bottle ball in there to get all the clumps out of formula, so it's just another way to store it. And here I have a little baby food jar to mix medication in there and some other food bowls. And this was actually a gift from my grandparents' friends at their square dancing class. I have a thermometer. And these are some fluids um, that are for warming only, so I can pop these in the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute, and they're just on the go fluids, and the cats really love it. And I have some more pet dishes for when they get older, and these are some small knickknacks that I organized like this so I wouldn't lose anything. So I have some formula scoopers, some flea combs. These are three milliliter syringes, so it's good for feeding, medication, and you can put a miracle nipple on the end of them. And here are my, uh, here's my assortment of nipples, and I have all different sizes and nipple rings, and I have uh, these miracle nipples in there, 
The one on the left is a mini and the one on the right is a regular and these are good for the smallest of babies. And here is another feeding tube. It's the same as the other one. It's just a little bit better quality, but it does the exact same thing. And these are caps for syringes, so if you maybe pull up some medicine and you want to cap it off, that way the medication cannot come out. And these are one milliliter syringes, which is, are good for medication administration uh, and even feeding as well. You can put Miracle Nipples on the end of those. Miracle Nipples are just an awesome thing to have. And one more time, I do want to reiterate the KMR. Cats are allergic to dairy, so never feed them cow's milk or goat's milk, anything like that, because it will cause diarrhea and dehydration and can cause death in brand new babies. The second drawer is kind of the comfort care drawer. So I have a heating pad in here. Make sure to get one that has adjustable heat settings so you don't make them too hot or too cold. This is a snuggle kitty, which is just a luxury, but is so great for them. It has a little pouch in here and you can put a bottle in there so the nipple sticks out and the babies can nurse on the kitten. And then inside the pouch, it also has this battery operated heartbeat. So it makes heartbeat noises as well as vibrations. And whenever it's going, this entire stuffed animal will pulsate and vibrate. And it just reminds them of their mamas. And this is another toy. When you squeeze the head on it, it purrs and vibrates. And my cat Eeyore remembers that because it was his when he was a baby. And he says that he's going to take it back. <laughs> and the Snuggle Kitty also came with this heat pack, which is just another heat source. And you can even put it in the Snuggle Kitty to keep the kitty itself warm. I got this off of Amazon. It is just another little portable heating pack. Um, inside there is a bag that you can fill with rice. And you put rice in there, microwave it, stick it back in the kitty, and it's another portable heat source. This blue one, it just does the exact same thing. And this last drawer just has various medication and care items. So um, these are medications that I've accumulated over time, lactulose syrup for constipation, some eye antibiotics. Eeyore is so curious. So I have a cone, maybe if they get spayed or neutered. This was a donation. This is Strongid and it's a dewormer and it deworms everything except heartworms and tapeworms. So it's just good to have just in case because those can lead to dehydration and death in kittens if they don't get dewormed. This is Burt V's Waterless Shampoo for Cats. It's organic. Some lysine pills for when they get older for their immune system. This is NutraCal high calorie paste for them, for babies specifically. Uh, here is some personal lubrication that is for stimulating the babies when they have to go to the bathroom. And as you can see, I've had a lot of babies because here's just some of the vet paperwork that I just like to keep on hand just in case. And these supplies are for babies of all ages, not or cats of all ages, not even just baby kittens. So just keep that in mind when you see some of the things here. So these are all of my supplies. Some of them you only need to purchase one time, maybe like the playpen that they are destroying. That's a once in a while purchase, maybe when it gets worn out. But things like formula you need often, medication you need often, maybe nipples or uh, syringes, stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, all of these things you can get on Amazon. If you have any worries about getting any of these supplies, talk to your foster coordinator and see what supplies they can offer you. Also make an Amazon wish list and ask your friends and family or have a kitten shower and ask for supplies. I promise you that there is someone out there who will help you get everything you need to save some lives. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Have a great day. Bye.